Hi Aries, welcome to your general love reading for November 2021. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, so let's see, what is going on with Aries for the first half of November? All right, we got two here. We have ascending and we also have a third party. Okay, so right off the bat, this is a third party situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be another person. We'll see. It could just be a situation. It could be work. It could be anything, okay? Um, with ascending though, it feels like there is progress, okay? In whatever the goal is here or whatever somebody is trying to move towards when it comes to resolving. So that means that there are revelations. There is a process of ascending here. All right, so let's get into this and see what's going on. Also keep in mind the roles can be reversed because it's a general reading. And let's see, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of November. All right, let's see what we got here. If the cards want to not stick together, all right. So starting off the reading, we have the King of Cups in reverse, crossed by the Three of Swords. What has happened here? What has happened here? All right, let's see, for your energy, we have the Six of Swords, the Page of Cups in reverse. For them, we have the Four of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Coming up for you, the Queen of Wands. All right, that is good. For them, the Nine of Wands. And potential outcome here, we have the Knight of Swords. All right, Aries. This is looking a little bit rough here, to be honest. Um, there's a connection here where there's a lot of emotional instability or there has been a lot of emotional instability and there's also a lot of pain because of that. And I feel like somebody is really having a hard time dealing with the pain um, or dealing with a particular separation here. So this could be you, this could be them, um, not quite sure yet. I feel like you're, however, you're moving away from this. You're, you've been hurt, okay? You've been hurt a lot here with the Six of Swords, um, but it's like you're looking the other way and you're moving in a direction where it's bringing you more happiness. You're looking in the direction of peace, basically. I don't feel like you're quite there just yet, but I feel like you're heading in that direction, okay? Especially judging by this Queen of Wands, um, which is coming up for you. This is you standing in your, in your power, basically being very confident, being very strong, overcoming your challenges. Um, I do feel like, you know, there's something here in a particular connection where you either feel very disappointed or you just feel like, the way that this is coming in is the emotions or the love that you felt like the more romantic feelings or the more pleasurable feelings, it's like you're turning your cup upside down and dumping them out almost. It's kind of like that. So could be a defense mechanism a little bit, but you are typically moving towards that light. And I actually feel like this is you also ascending here. Um, for them, Because we do have third party and I, uh, okay, I feel like it's the other person here who is in the third party unless the roles are reversed, so take it as it resonates. Um, there's definitely a situation here that is not stable and I'm actually feeling like that is that could actually be the main situation as well. Um, definitely a lot of emotional instability, as I said, and I feel like that's actually between you and this other person um, for one of the two of you, but this is also representative of this person also in another situation that they find themselves in where it's just not stable there is no love there but there is pain though there is pain attached to that there's pain just attached to the whole situation overall um but yeah definitely something here is not working out something is not very stable for this other person 
and that's why I'm saying um, that I feel this King of Cups in reverse is also more um, in terms of their energy rather than yours. We also have the Ace of Wands in reverse for them. So again, something is not working out. There is something that is not really moving forward here when it comes to a, a particular situation that they may have been committed to. Coming up for them, right, with the Nine of Wands, um, first of all, you might be dealing with another fire sign for some of you. Okay, there's a lot of fire here. Um, definitely also seeing water and, um, yeah, could be any sign though, okay? So, also getting some, some air, but mostly fire. They're moving towards having to put up a fight, basically. Um, something really challenging is coming up for them, but I do see them pushing through. I do see them actually fighting in in the right way, okay, in the way that is going to be for, for the best and the potential outcome here with the Knight of Swords. This is action. It's action and truth. So let's clarify. Let's see. So let's clarify that King of Cups with the Three of Swords. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Okay, Seven of Wands and Three of Cups are in reverse. I feel like this is a situation that somebody was really, really resistant to, okay? Somebody was um, just really like being defensive or really having their guard up. I see this person letting their guard down at the moment, feeling possibly even very, very vulnerable. Whatever this situation is here that is creating this emotional instability, um, this is a situation where it's like, it feels like there is no coming back together. It feels like there cannot be um, a reconciliation. There is no going back to a more pleasant time or, you know, fixing this, making it the way that it used to be or, or just making it enjoyable. Something is happening. Something is definitely happening here with this Knight of Wands. I feel like, you know, whoever this is, they're they're moving. There is movement happening in this particular situation. And I feel like this is actually <clears throat> referring to both the other person's situation, right? Whatever that third party is. But it's also representative of what's going on between you and them in some way, okay? So take it as it resonates because it's like a, um, like a double meaning here. It can be applied to both situations. So yeah, definitely somebody was um, showing a lot of resistance here. Not anymore. Not anymore, but there's the, the instability though is still there. All right, so there might be a lot of in and out, back and forth, trying to figure it out, a lot of um, frustration, and just feeling a lot, a lot of pain. So let's see specifically for you what's going on here. Let's see. Let's see the Six of Swords. All right, and we have Death. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're walking away from this situation. You're le just like I said. You're leaving this behind. You feel like it's done. You want to transform. You want to change. You want your life to be completely different. And I feel like you're just trying to fully um, finalize this chapter here. Let's see the Page of Cups. The Six of Pentacles. All right, you obviously feel like, you know, you weren't being um, treated very fairly here. Um, there was definitely with the Six of Pentacles, I always say it's like not an even exchange. And in this particular case, it could be, you know, that it's because you were getting the shorter end of the stick, right? Especially if this person had to um, share their energy between you and another situation, then yeah, you know, you're definitely feeling like you're not getting, you're not getting enough. And I feel like this is something that has actually turned you off. Um, now, maybe it didn't in the past, but at the moment it is really, it's turning you off. It's making you want to dump out, like I said, that's how it's, it's coming in. Dump out those, those um, feelings. It's making you feel less, less close to this person, 
Let me get another one here. The King of Swords in reverse. I feel like this is actually like your determinism to an extreme almost. I feel like you might, I mean, you have the right to feel how you feel, but um, yeah, okay, and the Empress in reverse, okay. So I feel like there might be something here you're not seeing 100% clearly, so I'm not trying to go against you how, for how you feel about this situation. But I feel like there's also one aspect of it that you might not be 100% aware of, which could even be an aspect within your own self. And that's actually how it's coming in. So yes, you are put off, you are turned off, but turned off by all of this. And so you're moving away, you're putting an end to it. But what I'm getting here is that because you, you feel so... Um, so harshly, I feel like you might have this tendency to be like overly determined, which might actually slow you down a little bit. You're still moving in, in the right direction. I feel like this is just like an extra little um, like point here or just like an extra little guidance point that, you know, make sure you're not overlooking something in your emotions because as you're dumping them out, you know, you, they may not have been fully processed here. So there might be something, you know, that just needs to be acknowledged. It, it could be as simple as that, like just to acknowledge um, certain aspects of, of the pain that you might have felt or, you know, whatever it is that you're feeling. Or if you still carry some emotions for this person, you know, being sure not to ignore them 100%. Because just ignoring the feelings isn't going to um, help you really. Okay, you have to um, allow yourself to feel them, basically. Allow yourself to feel them. And continue moving forward. Okay, moving forward doesn't mean you can't feel your emotions. So that's what I'm getting here. And I do feel like it's a theme that does um, come up quite often. So let's, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Four of Wands in reverse. All right, so we have the, what's going on here? This was in reverse, okay. So King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Magician. Yeah, so this is definitely a situation that this person um, is committed to or was committed to. So the commitment is there, the, the sense of responsibility or the sense of giving to this in a practical way is there. However, the, there is no love here, okay? Again, it could be a situation, it could be work, whatever, but it's, it's not aligned with their, with their heart, okay? So this is um, a situation where this person is not really giving affection to, but mostly giving um, from a practical aspect here. And I do still see that this person is giving to the situation, even though the situation is in reverse. It's causing a lot of instability. It, I feel like it's being um, torn apart in in a certain aspect. Like I said, you know, there's nothing really love based in this at the moment. And if there is love, you know, well, it's not. It's still not in alignment with with their heart here. Okay. Um, But they're still trying to figure something out here. They're still trying to make something, either make something work or bring something, bring something to, to fruition here concerning this particular situation. Let me see the Ace of Wands though. Star in reverse and the Six of Swords. Yeah, okay, so this person is in the process of moving away from this, okay? Even though they're still giving to this, they're still trying to, there's something here with this magician. There's something that they're still trying to manifest in this. So it could be a number of things. It could be, you know, that they are attached to something else that is related to this. Um, but they're. Tr it's almost like they're trying to just find the best solution. They're 
putting in effort, trying to just make things work in a way where it's just going to make things easier. And I don't think it's going to work, to be honest. Um, I feel like this is one of those situations where, you know, it's like, you know, you, you kind of just have to go with the flow and trust what you feel. So this, I feel like that's what this person is learning. They just haven't fully accepted that just yet. Um, so with the star in reverse and the six of swords, this person is moving away from this. Okay, this is a situation that it's like a dead end. All right, there is no hope here. This is th that situation is not. It's not going anywhere, and there is no possibility of it being fixed. And that's why I feel like you know whatever they're trying to do here is the magician. I feel like they're just trying to make the impossible possible, but like. And I know that we can sometimes say that and you can do the impossible, but I feel like in this particular case, it's like it, it just, it's just not in alignment. It's something that just really is not possible and it's not meant to happen. All right. And that's why we also have the three of cups in reverse here. It's like, it, there is no going back to this or there is no making it, you know, what this person would want it to be. So yes there is this gradual tendency of moving away from this, but it is a challenge, all right? It is it is difficult for them. So as I said, for you, you know, you're moving towards this Queen of Wands energy. You're fully moving towards being in your own power, overcoming your own challenges, and possibly even doing new things for your own self. And I feel like you're, you're being successful at that or you're going to be successful at that, okay? So follow whatever your intuition is telling you when it comes to actually you know, doing something that you feel inspired to do, you know, like listening to your call. That's what I'm getting with this. So let's, um, let's see this nine of wands though for the other person for what they're moving towards. All right. And we have the ace of swords. Yeah. So they're doing it, you know, they're, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for them, whatever this is that they are moving away from. Um, it's going to take quite a bit of effort and energy from their end, but with the Ace of Swords, that's action, that's truth. I see them following their own truth and moving in that direction. But of course, you know, there might be some bumps, um, a little bit of up and down. Because that Nine of Wands, that's not an easy, um, that's not an easy energy to be in. All right, so for the potential outcome here with the Knight of Swords, all right, at least for the first half of November, we have the High Priestess. So again, this is all about um, somebody following their their intuition, right? Being in touch with their higher self, coming more into an alignment, okay? Because I do see a lack of an alignment with this person, at least here. Now for you, I do see you aligning with your own self. So that's actually really positive. So what I do see here is that there is action, okay? There is movement. That is the point of this. Um, it might still be a little bit shaky, okay? I feel like it is going to happen fast. Like it's going to be fast moving, but because it's going to be fast moving, that's exactly why there might be some bumps in the road. But the message here, though, is it doesn't matter. It's OK. It's all in alignment and things are actually, you know, moving in the way that they are meant to. OK, between you and this other person. So I do see you, though, wanting to put an end to this. And I'm not exactly seeing a reconciliation here, at least. But of course, you know, further down the line, it could potentially be that because there is action that is being taken and somebody is aligning. But this is still a message for you to continue moving in your on your path regardless and to keep following your own intuition. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Those were the messages for you, Aries. Um, please give me a like if this resonated with you and much love.